Lindsay here. It is cleaning day. Now usually I don't just clean my house once a week, but just look at my table. We have been pretty much harvesting and preserving food non-stop. So, yeah. Also, side note, I've got a roosty here who's not doing too well. His comb's a little dull. He's eating and I've been dropper feeding him water. He kept falling over so he's getting some uh, like disorientation and so we're just gonna keep him cleaned up and feed him water him. We've got our magic solution over there which is apple cider vinegar and honey along with the water. So he's enjoying that. It's kind of perked him up quite a bit. That's what keeps my weeks busy and um, now it's the weekend and it's really time to get the house cleaned up for the week. I like to start off the week with it clean even though I know it's, no, even though I know it's not going to stay that way. It makes me feel better and I've got a couple changes that I want to make. I made a trip to Ikea a few weeks back and got my couch and I also bought something to I hope minimize the furniture in the living room so we'll see if it ends up looking good or not but we're gonna work on that today too I've got Jay here so he's gonna help me so let's go ahead and get started I'm starting off in the bedroom today and I really find myself doing this more and more often because at least if I don't get to the other rooms I'll have a clean place to sleep it just helps me sleep a little bit better when I know that the room is clean and it smells good so that's kind of why I start off in the bedroom keep it up one more minute keep it up you're so great standing talking you got me checkmate Watching on nothing. I have cleared out the room, also that you can get to be the big spoon. Cut on me, cut on me, blue. Take me to the edges of you. one load of laundry to do instead of the endless pile as usual. I've been really enjoying doing one load of laundry instead of multiples. When it's multiples I kind of get overwhelmed with it but I found that when I just do one load of laundry a day it's not too bad. So if you're hating laundry maybe try out doing one load a day for a couple weeks and see how that goes for you instead of trying to bulk laundry because I just I can't do it. Can't do it. You may notice, but I have a brand new vacuum on the bed. That is an Onsen. The company reached out to me and asked if they could send me the vacuum cleaner in exchange for my honest review. I said, well, you know, my honest review is all I give. So if that's what you want, you can send it on. But I've been using it for a week or so now, and I'll just kind of share some of the things that I like and don't like about it throughout this video. But for the price point, I think it's really a great vacuum cleaner overall. It is available on Amazon and there is a $10 off coupon. I'll have my commissionable Amazon link for it down below. And if you want to go check it out, you definitely can. But I know a lot of you have been asking me about the vacuum cleaner that I use and I usually use a Dyson V6 and there's some things that are quirky about the Dyson that I really don't like and I feel like this Onsen a lot of the quirky things they have kind of taken care of. It's also a little bit lighter than the Dyson so if you have problems with your back and carrying things around then you might want to consider using this but you can see right here that it does have some really good suction power. I really like the detail attachment that they sent with it. It's perfect for cleaning my air conditioner vents. It's also one third of the price of the Dyson, which I almost bought one before I bought my Dyson, uh, but I wasn't sure how it was going to go. So I wish I had seen someone review it 
because I may have chosen this one instead. But I'll explain a little bit more just as we go along and I use it and I can show you some other features. is used for storage so sometimes it kind of gets out of hand and I've got to put it all back I still have the light fixtures that we got from Ikea that need to be put up that's been on my honeydew list for a while and I think Jay will probably knock that out pretty quickly but they are still in here so I just needed to kind of clean the floors you know put a little spider spray on the floor so we can keep those spiders away and just tidy it up a little bit tidied up everything on the bathtub and I got a terrible shot of me cleaning the actual bathtub so I guess I thought that my camera is in a completely different position because it, you don't you can't see anything so but I did clean my bathroom with a little soap and cleaner and rinsed it out and of course refilled it with water let me know down below if you know what that was for My cabinet needed to be cleaned off for sure. In the summertime, my kids are outside playing a lot more, so they get muddy hands and it drips all over the counter. But as I was cleaning the bathroom, Jason is putting together our new shoe rack for the living room. I know that I should keep it cool, babe. Not lose my swag and play the fool, babe. Just play the game and hold on me. time I got finished with the bathroom this was as far as he had gotten <laughs> I think it's funny how different he and I are as far as putting things together he likes to pull everything out of the box make sure he knows where everything is and has everything that he needs to put it together and then he'll sit down and put it together and I just tear open the box and go to it so we're a lot different in that way and I'm last with nothing to obtain so let's level up to I needed 
to find a different way to store our shoes because Ruby has been clawing them out of the other cabinet, which is why a lot of them are on the ground. <laughs> so this way she can't really get into them and she can't tear them up. And then the kids don't have an excuse to lay them on the floor saying that they fell out or they didn't fit. So this was a good solution for us, or at least I hope it's gonna be a good solution for us. But it also reduces the amount of shelves and furniture that's on this wall. Maybe it will be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing also. I just wanted to quickly wipe down the wall before we stuck the furniture on there. I would like to repaint this wall. It badly needs it, but that is a project for another day. to be home passing by those little towns i know so well stopping for gas and then i'm behind the wheel again driving this like a spiritual cleanse where every mile is a new beginning and every brand holds a new end eyes on the road don't lose control i'm speeding fast to chase my soul i'm driving to get away High and low, holding on or letting go. I'm fighting another day. The neon lights in the fast lane, light riding high, reaching for the sky. I had it all but lost and fell back down again. Spent my time playing the game where every single day was a losing battle and every drink was a dead end. I'm living fast, I've lost my soul I'm driving to get away Running through emotions As we're cleaning up our mess from putting this on the wall, you can see one of my favorite features of this vacuum cleaner, and that's the light on the front of it. Um, it's really nice to have this, especially when you're vacuuming under furniture all the time, like I do. <laughs> so that's one of my very favorite features of this vacuum cleaner, is the fact that it has a light. It's also really nice that the, you don't have to hold down the power button. If you have like arthritis in your hands, it might be better for that. Because the Dyson, you actually have to hold down the power button. And with the Onsen, it's just, you just turn it on. I'm just, it's taken me a little while to get used to it because I'm used to the Dyson, but I really like that about it too. How come I got lost in this endless spin? Why do I feel so empty deep within? Where did I go wrong? Eyes on the gold, don't lose control. I'm living fast, I lost my soul. I'm come get these lazy dogs I swear all they do is sleep on the couch all day and then keep me up all night long struggling a little bit with how we are storing all of our homeschooling materials. There's just a lot of them. So I really need to go through them and declutter them all, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to kind of straighten them up and make them look a little bit better, but I do need to go through these and see what we're using, what we're reaching for and what we're not and get rid of some things. I have four shelves that I store this on and I feel like there's probably a better way to store this stuff, but I just don't know what it is right now. So if you have any ideas for small space homeschooling storage, please leave them in the comments below.
the kitchen. I've got this uh, salt lamp that I found in my closet in the hallway and put it up and I'm really enjoying the ambiance that it has in the kitchen. Jay took my last lamp to work and um, I was gonna buy another one but then I found this one. I was like, well, we'll just use this one. But I enjoy having a lamp in here. It makes it a lot more homey. So you see all the mess we create when we do a project, but <laughs> the kitchen table has stayed a lot cleaner because I've made a commitment to eating at it every single night. So yeah, we've got some things down at the corner and I would really like, or down at the end of the table, and I would really like to clear that out, but Jason's working from home right now, so it's not a good time to reorganize this space or fix any of that at the moment. Maybe one of these weekends I'll get him to help me do that when I re refinish the table, but We'll just see. We'll just see how that goes. I would really like to set up a little office space with this table at the end of the table. So I don't know how we're gonna end up doing that, but we'll probably have to go vertical. <laughs> I know there's a lot of you that wash your dishes by hand and I did for a really really long time but I have to say that I'm super thankful for my dishwasher especially during harvest season because when you're preserving and doing all that the last thing you want to do is wash a big huge load of dishes every night so I'm really thankful that we did get the dishwasher I feel like we got it just in time just get me out of how keep me so calm around me when I desperately you used to be the one getting crazy when I'd be hard to reach I can see it in your eyes you don't want to talk anymore I want to get so numb want to get so numb we enemies no you don't mind the way I stand my words mm, you know exactly what it means and how it hurts oh, I can't believe you're here can't get any worse no no I just want to get out of here I find it so hard to breathe cause when you get too close I lose my way and I freeze I wish you knew poor camera skills showing you how easy it is to empty this vacuum but it has a little latch on the front that you can empty out but if things get stuck you can just twist off the top and remove the filter which is replaceable and just clean it out like that now my Dyson's not like that it's a lot harder you have to like stick things up in there I think they fixed that on some of the newer models of the Dyson but the Dyson V6 that I have does not have that Fun feature so it is a pain in the butt to empty so if nothing else I do like this feature over my Dyson but thank you for letting me share this vac vacuum cleaner they didn't pay me to do this review or anything like that they did send me the vacuum but only wanted my honest review and I 
think that so I think that Dyson's suction power might be slightly better but probably not noticeable to most people and it's a little harder to pick things up in front of the Onsen vacuum as opposed to the Dyson vacuum but other than that I think they're very comparable and for the price you know Onsen's definitely a better price but it did come with a mount that you can mount on the wall I just haven't done that yet so it's like the Dyson in that way that it will mount on the wall so it stores easy so now the house is a little bit cleaner the kitties are finishing up their dinner but I hope you'll go check out Onsen and see what you think I would I was thinking about doing a side-by-side -side of the Onsen and a Dyson. So if that's something that you would like to see, let me know down in the comments below. Because there are pros and there are cons for each vacuum cleaner. So if you want to see something like that, just let me know. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a little bit of motivation to clean your space today. I can't wait to chat with you in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.